Hey guys, I'm inspired by Chipotle's tamale green chili oil. What we'll need is some cilantro, spices, red pepper, jalapenos, cilantro, and tamales. All right, here we go. So I got all my ingredients chopped up, which you'll see below the list. All right, first going in, we got the tamales. I use about two and a half cups of those. And I chopped them up. I have a hard time with red tomatoes, but I love Chipotle's green tomato chili. It's like a sweet heat. All right, we got the red peppers going in. Um, I used about a half of a red pepper. Now we got the minced garlic going in. I used two cloves of garlic. If you want to see a video on minced garlic, mix ah minced garlic. I have that in here. All right, now we got the cilantro. did like a half a cup of cilantro. All right, and I did four, four limes, because they were small, I did four limes uh, with the juice. Squeezed those and got the juice out of them. Now I got the jalapenos. I only did two jalapenos because I kept the seeds in them, which uh, gives you more heat. Um, you don't have to, I did. If you like, if you don't like a lot of heat, uh, seed out the jalapenos. But if you like heat, keep the seeds in. So, um, a lot of people roast and toast, but I like to, um, keep the seeds in. And I put some, as you can see, some spices and a little bit of the smoked Tabasco sauce. If you want more heat, put in more smoked Tabasco sauce and pour it, put in more of the, um, red peppers. All right. So I got my spices in there, my cilantro, my red peppers, my onions, my tamales. Looks beautiful. Ah, she's gorgeous. All right, I'm going to blend this all together. Um, I love Chipotle, <laughs> and I also love Whole Foods, but we don't have Whole Foods close here. I need either a job at Chipotle or a job at, like, one of those organic stores that I'd be set. But, like, the closest Whole Foods to us is, like, two hours away. But we do have a Chipotle close to us. I love Chipotle, but I can't afford to eat it every day. So, um, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try to make this at home. Uh, nobody's been able to crack the code, and I can't quite either, but it was good. Almost close, but not close enough. You know, maybe next time I'll get it, but this was very close. I think next time I will add more Tabasco sauce. I, I don't know. The heat was there. I just couldn't get it sweet enough. Maybe I should just add some sugar in it, right? <laughs> some pure cane sugar. All right, that is my recipe. Uh, again, I use cumin, corando, cilantro, red peppers, tamales. Sorry, I'm drawing a blank. Uh, a little bit of sea salt, a little bit of pepper, obviously some red peppers, ground pepper. Oh, and you can put them in mason jars. They're great. Got my little one. But yeah, I think uh, I'm going to add sugar to this. Because I got the heat. I just wasn't feeling the sweet. So how else can we make it sweet? Well, maybe some more lime juice, citrus, I don't know. But I think, I really, really think that they may put sugar in there. Um, Everybody's trying to crack the code, obviously, because it's really good. But I really think there could be a little bit of sugar in there. I mean, I can't taste it, but I'm trying to think between trial and error, what it is with a 